We'll try that. I thought maybe a good video for you is I could tell my story on how I had hearing and played the banjo and then lost my hearing and had to drop a lot of things uh, in the meantime. Well, a lot of people on YouTube know you from back then. You were pirate life. And back about the time that 66 Hellrod passed away, you made a, a radio control car kind of in his honor. Oh, yeah. And you were playing some video and you had some videos up. And I'm gonna let you tell the story from there. I've got, I still do, uh, I have all my uh, remote control cars, my quadcopters and things like that. And I've wanted to make videos. I've tried to make a few videos, but I like to edit what I put out there. And I found out that I can't hear what it is I'm saying. And so I don't know what to edit and I don't know how to rearrange the video. So I've tried making a few videos and I just kind of gave up. <laughs> what happened to your hearing? So I'm um, retired Coast Guard. And before I retired, I, about in about 2006, I lost my hearing, started losing my hearing in the right ear. Now I struggled with um, ear infections and things like that my whole life. Um, but I think for many years I had the onset of Meniere's disease, which slowly destroys your inner ear. You get a lot of vertigo and things. And I had always related that with, uh, with allergies and ear infections and whatnot. So I went to my doctor and I said, hey, look, I'm having a lot of vertigo my ear is getting really stuffy and this is just the right ear and they did some tests and it turns out I have Meniere's disease so dealt with that the Coast Guard did a, uh, a medical review board on me and they said uh, as long as you can perform your job you're fine and I never had a problem with vertigo while driving boats I'm a bosun's mate and I used to teach young coasties how to drive boats but never had a problem on the water never had a problem on the ship uh, that really affected me that much and um, I retired from the Coast Guard I did 24 and a half I call it 25 years I like to round up and uh, I think I guess things kind of changed a little bit for me because I had to find a job I had applied for different places and uh, finding a job was just tough when I when I got out so I started looking for work, um, trying to think what's the easiest way, and I knew they were hiring truck drivers, so I signed on to uh, John Tyler Community College to learn how to drive a truck. Um, graduated from that school, got my CDL, and got a job with Schneider National, and I drove over the year for, on the Amazon account for Schneider, uh, and then about a year later, they I went to Carlisle, which is one of their centers there for the trucks. And they said, hey, you're due for a physical. How about taking your physical while you're here? So I went to my physical and I couldn't hear an audible whisper from across the room. And I knew I was starting to have problems in my left ear. Uh, this is about four years ago, I guess. And uh, they said, yeah, we, we can't let you drive. So that day, when I just from driving a truck and driving for Amazon, going to my medical review and getting denied, they put me in a rental car and sent me straight home. I was out of a job. Yeah. So I went back to the doctors at the VA, said, yeah, I'm having problems with my left ear. And it turns out the disease spread from my right ear to my left ear. And I went from 60% with a VA to 100%. And now I'm what you call part-time retired. I work about four hours a day, Monday through Friday, no weekends at Home Depot. And uh, life's, life's fine. So doing just okay, doing okay because Uncle Sam's um, got my back, which has uh, been really nice. And, and they, the Hunter Holmes McGuire Medical Center in Richmond, Virginia takes excellent care of me. I have never had a problem. I mean, all my meds, any surgeries, anything I've ever needed, they've been wonderful. So that's where I'm at today. And uh, used to play the banjo. Now I can't even listen to music. Um, I didn't go anywhere in my truck without listening to the radio or having my favorite songs on. And I don't think I've turned the stereo on my truck 
probably Martin three years, Allen four years now. Program. She said, all the, uh, all the chords uh, sound the same. So I can play a G chord or an F, whatever. And they all sound exactly the same. And I've always played by ear. So I think the last time when you and I were together, you handed me the banjo and I couldn't tell one chord from the other. I couldn't even find my place on on the frets, uh, which normally it all comes by ear. What have you, what have you, what, you know, replaced or have you replaced hobbies like banjo music? I mean, what, what do you do? now i'm struggling to hear you i'm sorry <laughs> hey mandy <laughs> that's okay i'll yell at you or, or something i don't know um what do you like to do now well now that i'm not playing the banjo i'm still into i do i'm not one to sit still so uh i'm not as crafty as you as far as building things and stuff but i like to I've always dabbled in remote control cars. Uh, I've always dabbled in things like quadcopters and RC planes. Uh, I would say lately. Building my garden. Building, yeah, build her a fence for her garden. Um, but I would, I'm building a, now I'm a huge Halloween fan. I love Halloween. And years ago, my kids and I used to sit down and we, and we would come up with some kind of a theme for our house at Halloween. And uh, when we lived in Suffolk, um, Suffolk, Virginia, everybody in our neighborhood always did something. So we went huge. And I was Michael Myers from Halloween, the movie. Well, many, many years of being a Michael Myers fan. This year, I'm building a life-size Michael Myers with a mannequin, the coveralls, the mask, and I'm painting the mask and just making it all realistic. And I've already scared myself to death and my daughter uh, put it in the garage where I'm working on it. And I'll forget it's in there and I'll walk into the garage and just <laughs> all of a sudden I forget the thing was in there. So yeah, but I do things like that. I'm always finding something to work on. I ride my motorcycle. Um, I've had a KLR 650. I bought that thing in 2000. 12 2013 i think and when i was out in seattle i used to ride up in the cascades and the olympics and i would disappear in the mountains and not come down all day uh, here in virginia they're nowhere near the trails to ride on so it's mostly road um, and i'm looking at probably selling this bike and getting something a little bit more sport touring so something that mandy can ride on with me and we can go to the mountains or we can go to the beach because after about five, six hours of riding, I can't feel my butt. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's not very comfortable. It's meant for 50, you know, 50, 50 on road, off road. So, but uh, I work on my house. I work on my truck. Uh, we kayak. <laughs> You know things yeah. like that so there's there's room for me to make videos but the ones that i tried to make when i can't hear myself talking and i'm not really sure what i said or if i need to edit something out or maybe i shouldn't have said that yeah i just can't and getting mandy to do it or my daughter or somebody like that my daughter's a full-time student mandy's a teacher uh elementary school teacher and she just stays really busy so just not her but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Who knows what I'm going to get my hands into next? But I'm always do working on something. Yeah. Is there a, a platform that anyone could communicate with you through? Like, do you do Facebook? I don't do Facebook anymore. Uh, and I had you and Trish on there. Yeah. And I loved being in contact with my friends and uh, people that uh, family especially no. but it seems like uh, a lot of my friends that I went to high school with that I haven't seen in years and people that uh, were making comments and political issues just it was just too much stress for me I didn't want no. to deal with it and there were people that I used to respect and I used to love that I didn't want to hear anything from them anymore. So I just did away with Facebook. And honestly, I'm uh, a lot happier for it. No computer stuff? 
computers. I play video games and stuff like that. Okay. So I I can't hear games. Um, so a lot of the video games that I play will have text on the screen. Yeah. Uh, things like that where I don't get the environment. So if I go to the movies or if I watch a movie at home, I don't get the score, or the music score. I don't uh, get to hear. There's a lot in a movie about how someone delivers their joke or delivers a certain line to to make things scary or to you know give you that feeling that's what an actor does and i, I don't get that i have to read the movie and it's not the same but i still enjoy playing games and watching movies so <laughs> it's uh it's been a tough uh, it's been tough to adapt but it's my life and I don't let it overcome me uh, I'm I can't sell my banjos I've tried I tried to sell them one time and people just went and uh, we'll talk about that after we get offline sir? we'll talk about that after I turn this off yeah <laughs> I, uh, so I've still got all my instruments in hopes of one day they come up with a cure for what I have and I can hear again yeah. And there are my banjos. I can start over and pick yeah. up where I left off. Makes uh, sense. And I started to bring you that banjo. Uh, I have one. I don't know what happened to it. Um, they were all in the same closet, all sitting next to each other. Now, the only thing I can think of is I would randomly come in the room. There's my banjo. Nothing's going on. I'll pick it up and just start playing with it. Then I'll set it down or put it back in its case and put it away. Um, well, one time I was like, oh, I haven't pulled out the, uh, the Gretsch in a while, which is the first banjo that I bought. So I took it out of its case. All of the frets are, um, they have, they have, they're tarnished like green. Uh, the, the rest, you know, the, the chrome rest has like pitted areas on it. The, all the supports on the, around the pot going around are rusted. Uh, the wood is fine, the the back and the pot and everything's fine, but all the hardware, it's like I picked it up sweaty and put it in its case and then it just ate it alive. And all my other instruments are perfectly fine. So that's the only thing I can come with, uh, come up with is maybe, maybe I was playing it one day when I was just after working in the yard or something like that. Yeah. That was an expensive banjo. Yeah. So. Um, I was going to bring it and I was just thinking to myself, well, I can't afford to fix it right now. I mean, that's another project that I can work on, but everything hardware on it would have to be replaced. So I don't know, maybe the next time we visit, I'll be able to bring that in and get you to look at it and see if you can save it or see okay. if I, you can give me an idea of how to save it. Okay. You got anything else you want to say before I cut this off? Anything else you want to say to the tubers before I cut it off? Is there anything else I want to say? I miss making videos. Uh, I wish I miss playing banjo for sure. Uh, some of the hardest things for me um, now being deaf, and I call it deaf because you got to remember that being deaf is a spectrum. Um, even though I can hear sounds, I have a very, very hard time understanding vocabulary <clears throat> and especially with this coronavirus thing going on and people wearing masks mm -hmm. i can't see what they're saying and i'm getting really good at reading lips yeah um, so it's been tough but i'm here you know i'm still pirate life uh i still go to richard's channel i look at trisha's channel every now and then and all my other favorite friends out there and uh just maybe hoping one day for a cure but if not keep moving forward I'm gonna ask the youtubers to pray for you yes and also uh, cut worm buddy I'm sorry I know I haven't commented or anything but you are absolutely to one of my favorite youtubers out there so I just wanted to say hello and a special shout out I'm doing okay I do stop by your channel from time to time I just don't leave as many comments as I used to yeah. so. anything else that's it cut it off Bye. <laughs>